Studio lighting setup. Is it original? No. Is it needed? No. So let's do it. Okay, there's a gazillion tutorials out there on doing exactly this. And I want to join the club. So let's get started. What we need is a backdrop and a couple of lights. There's a plugin called Psych from Joker Martini. I'm going to post a link below the video. It's uh, pretty sweet. We're not going to use it, but for this. But you know, kind of cool. It's free. So go ahead and download that if you wish. Uh, I am going to create this from the scratch. We're going to start off with a line, okay? And of course, you can make uh, any type of backdrop. You don't have to use a line. You can use a. Uh, what can you use? A box. A chamfer box, for example. Let's uh, just do the basic one L. Yes. What we need to do is go into vertex and give this little dot some fillet. Let's drag and we have some roundness. Whoops. No. Always. Okay. Now this isn't much of a backdrop. So we need to have an extrude and give it some some values in the amount something that you're happy with it's going to remove the grid with the G keyboard shortcut pro tip okay give it a material I'm just gonna add a, just a gray V-ray material nothing fancy let's add a, an object to light teapot yes have to have a teapot let's just give this some more detail just for the sake of it just for so it's pretty pretty position it where you want it and let's give this a material and um, well Let's have some shining, some uh, reflected material, orange, because I like it. Give it some reflection and Fresnel. Sweet, simple, and we're done with that. Now the last thing is light. Let's do the most boring one, the boring combo, top left right, okay? regular rectangular light have that above gonna lower the intensity S turn on the target so we can easily copy this one and uh, Let's add a soft box to this. I'm just going to up the subdiv as well. It's going to be nicer and it's going to actually be faster to render. Uh, of course, you can't just add 128. I think it's going to go faster, but it's, it's going to be faster. It's 16 than 8. Of course, it depends on the image sampler, kind of settings you have. V-Ray soft box. Just pipe this in as an instance in a free slot. Add a radial, you can add a frame if you want to. Let's give this a base tint color. Blue is always nice. Let's just check what we have. Uh, before anything, I am using um, Gamma 2.2 here, but also in V-Ray. In the V-Ray slot, let's see. Here, color mapping, gamma, 2.2, linear. Perfect. <coughs> if you have this at 1, uh, V-Ray isn't going to see uh, 
it's going to be a lot grainier where it's uh, dark, okay, this is where the shadow is. So you want to set this to 2.2. I have uh, global illumination, just basic settings, nothing special. Let's just do a trial, try render here, <clears throat> turn on the sRGB, we can see it. Looks pretty sweet, just one light, you know, we can call this a day, but let's go a little bit further and copy this one. I just uh, shift drag, I'm gonna lower the intensity, we don't have a V-Ray camera, so we need to have um, um, the multiplier a bit lower, okay? Let's uh, make this a little bit smaller, like so, and you just copy this one again, left and right, shake it out, look at that, looks so sweet. <clears throat> so this is the most basic studio setup you can do pretty much, well you know you can remove two lights and it's even more basic. But you know, it does its job. Um, yeah. What else can I say? You can play around with this, add light behind, which is kind of nice if you have a refracted uh, material, glass or something. Um, why not do it? It's free, right? Refracting. You can, if you want to have color, well, you know, you can first, I'm going to set this to Fresnel. Uh, I'm not going to click this, I'm going to have it the same as, uh, as in the refractive. So when I change this, it's going to like change this as well, you, you can't see it. But. Effect shadow is a must, okay. And we can give it some color blue as you can see it's really strong so we need to lower the multiplier something oops I don't know what we do let's do point 0.1 yes for uh, composting you might want to play around with this and of course add it let's see how this looks Kind of pretty. <clears throat> Not so much. Can up the depth. Well, can't say I. I'm. I'm not digging it, but uh, let's uh, make a new uh, light. Let's add this behind like so and just flip it I'm gonna have an um, angle snap invisible let's try this kinda dig that anyways you get the idea right it's pretty damn simple uh, so in the next tutorial I will be doing something uh, even more original and that is an infinite, infinite floor, okay? You get that nice look. Um, so yeah, thanks. Bye.